Our agenda for this afternoon is as follows. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about some key market trends impacting the U.S. real estate industry today. I'm going to give you a quick taste of what Proxio is, but then spend the bulk of my time in a live demo. We'll come back out to the presentation just to let you know what are the key things you need to do when getting started with Proxio, let you know about some of the other great services we offer, and then if I haven't answered any questions you have, I will leave a few minutes at the end uh, for Q&A. So probably the, the biggest trend right now in the U.S. real estate industry that's really having an impact is that foreign buyers are truly making a difference. You've probably heard lots about this, but the sales dollar volume of U.S. residential property purchased by international buyers last year was $82.5 billion. That's a lot of real estate, and that's up 25% uh, from the previous year. It is now equal to 9% of the total U.S. residential market. Foreign buyers pay a higher median price nearly double and pay cash 62% of the time. So what this means is here is a big opportunity and it's a lucrative opportunity and one that Proxio can help you really take advantage of. We'll talk about that shortly. Where are the far these foreign buyers coming from? Well frankly they're coming from just about every country in the world. Um, as you can see on the left hand side some of the breakdowns um, recently from NAR information while Canada remains uh, the number one place people come to purchase uh, U.S. Re residential real estate, we see great growth in Chinese buyers, um, increasing the rate of about 25% year over year, and frankly, uh, seeing increases across the board from all different countries. So it may be for a, a number of different reasons that foreign buyers are purchasing the real estate, and maybe political or economic turmoil at home. It might be the opportunity to own real estate uh, or the cachet of owning U.S. real estate. Uh, it may be a place for family members, particularly children who may be studying here in the U.S. or um, second homes, vacation homes, or uh, permanent home as they move. But there's certainly um, a great opportunity here uh, for people all over the world coming to the, this country for for U.S. real estate. The second key trend we see impacting the real estate industry today is that multilingual is really now the new norm. So as you can see from this uh, map of the United States, you can certainly see on the East Coast, uh, definitely on the West Coast and the South, uh, Southwest, uh, in addition to, to Florida down the Southeast, that the percent of population speaking a language other than English um, is quite significant. As you can see, the orange and the darker oranges, um, you're getting into the uh, plus 15% um, up to you know even 35, 40% of the population. Uh, in in Arizona, that that number is 27%. So nearly a third of the population in Arizona is speaking a language other than English. Um, at home. The, the challenge and the opportunity for you as a real estate agents is that if you haven't already, you may have the opportunity either in working with a foreign buyer or a client or prospective client that speaks a language other than English, which is the challenge and opportunity of communicating with those people in a way that um, they can truly understand the information you're providing. That too is something that uh, Proxio can absolutely help you do. So what is Proxio? Proxio is the only global network that is exclusively for real estate professionals like yourselves. We have over 600,000 agents from over 100 countries in our system. And the power of the platform is that it operates in and is in translated, the entire platform is translated into 19 different languages. So while we'll be operating the system in English, your colleagues in Russia will be operating the system in Russian those in France, in French, and so on. What this does is it really breaks down borders and, and barriers between agents, no matter where they are in the world, allowing them to reach out, make connections, and start to do business. Now I often use the 
analogy that Proxio is like a LinkedIn for real estate professionals. So as this slide indicates, Beth in California can be linked to Alan in Costa Rica. Alan can be linked to Ophelia in Florida. They are all connected. But different from other social networks, it's not only their professional profile that's part of those connections, but it's also their listings. And that's what enables um, Beth and Alan and Ophelia to really start to, to, to build their businesses globally and start to reach out and make business connections. In addition to being a networking platform, Proxio is also a global marketing service. We have one of the world's largest collections of international properties, over 3 million listings valued at over $1.7 trillion. We also believe we are the largest collection of international luxury properties. We have over 140,000 properties in our system listed at a million dollars and above, and you can see the other breakdowns. All listings in the system are fully translated into 19 different languages, and those translations are done by human beings. They're not done by computers. They're done by native speakers, and the, they're, those, there are over 400 fields that are translated. So there's a lot of richness in the detail, uh, in the listing detail available in the system. But it, you can feel completely confident that your listing has been translated authentically and correctly and that there's no room for miscommunication or misunderstanding. On the right-hand side of the screen here, you can see the different languages into which we do translate. Uh, listings in the entire platform, as well as an example of a listing translations in both Chinese and Russian, all of which can be emailed or printed out for clients, prospective clients or buyers, and I'll show you uh, that in a moment. In addition to your listings being available in the international MLS that is Proxio, we also syndicate your listings uh, automatically to global consumer websites like uh, world Properties, which I will show you in the demo portion, where not only your listings, but you yourself, your, profi your profile is searchable by agents worldwide as well as consumers worldwide in the 19 different languages. Proxio makes it very easy for you to create marketing materials uh, for clients and buyers, and I'll show you how we do that but you can create, with a couple clicks of a button, um, some really nice looking marketing flyers, all of which can be translated, um, and you can print them out or email them uh, as needed. Finally, we do know that social media is very important to real estate professionals. So Proxio, again, with a couple clicks of a button, makes it very easy for you to post your listings to your Facebook timeline where via link a visitor or to your Facebook profile can see the listing detail and once again translated to any of the 19 different languages, really allowing you to leverage social media uh, to contact and communicate with multilingual and uh, foreign and international buyers. So I'm just going to check to see if we have any questions so far. Not yet, so I'm going to, at this point, come back out uh, to the demo portion. Now, if you have not received yet, you will be shortly receiving an email uh, from the Prudential Marketing Team directing you to where to register for Proxio, for your free Proxio account. Uh, this is a landing page where you will go and enter your email address and the default password, Peru, Arizona 2013. You simply accept our terms of use, click done, and it's that easy. You are registered and into Proxio. Now, before I, I show you a little bit about sort of the key things uh, about Proxio, I did want to give you a sense of that the power of the, the translation in this platform. So you'll see across the top here uh, various different flags representing the different languages into which the platform can be translated. So if I was a Brazilian agent, this is how I'd get logged out. Uh, 
All right, try that again. This is how I would be seeing the entire platform. As you can see, it's all in Brazilian Portuguese. If I were a Japanese agent, the entire system would be in Japanese and so on. So this is part of, as I said, what makes this such a powerful tool for agents around the world who operate in their own language yet to be able to communicate and make connections with other agents. Now this page that you're seeing here is the home page or what we call the big button page because we've created buttons here that are sort of the key things that you'll want to do within the system to make it easy for you to find. The top left corner where I have the, the logo Proxio Pro, you will have a Prudential Arizona logo. No matter where you are in the system, if you click that, that will bring you back to this page. Now the first thing I suggest agents do when they come into the system is because this is a network, it's a live network, it's dynamic, it's constantly being updated, you want to see what's going on, what's the latest, greatest in the system. You can do that by clicking the Profile and Network Overview button, which will bring you to information about the network itself on the left hand side as well as your your network on the right the sorry flip that <laughs> the global network on the right side and your network on the left side so at the top on the right you'll see the information about the latest greatest uh, in terms of numbers of the in the network you can see we have over 626,000 agents um, and over 3 million listings just below that you'll see who are the latest uh, the newest agents into our system. The flag will tell you what language they speak and just below it will be the country from which they come. This might be, this be important for you to check as you're building your referral network, uh, see who's new to the system, there may be an agent there with whom you'd like to connect um, and, and build business relationship. Simply by clicking the plus sign you can expand this to see more of the, the newest agents in the system. Below the newest agents, you'll see the newest listings in the system. Again, the, the country code will be at the top. Just below that is a symbol that indicates the level of privacy that listing is within our system. I'll just tell you what that is in a moment here. The uh, circle, uh, globe, this blue globe here, means that the listing information is uh, completely public to any agent within the Proxio network the full detail. Most of our, the vast majority of our listings are made public. However, um, unlike here in the U.S. where exclusive listings exist, that is not always the case overseas. So there uh, may be listings coming in from other parts of the world that are made private. They have a little lock on it. To be able to see the listing information for a private uh, property, that you'll need to reach out and contact the listing agent directly. Uh, there's a third level of privacy, which is um, for network only, which is demarked, demarked with uh, two uh, monitors. And what that means is the listing detail is only available to those agents within the referral network of the listing agent, and otherwise you would need to reach out to the listing agent directly. So this, um, again, if you have, certainly if you have a buyer, this might be a place you want to keep an eye on to see what sort of the newest listings that have come into the system. Now on the left hand side is information about uh, your own referral network. So at the top is a little summation of your profile. Uh, this is uh, what is being seen by uh, other agents in the system and we'll see uh, a profile in more detail in just a moment. Below that, you'll be able to see sort of the latest updates to your own referral network. So here you can see the changes to listings, new properties, updated properties, or contracts expiring. You can see those in various different time increments, uh, two weeks, a week, uh, two days. So I can see in the last two days, there have been 147 new properties come into my personal referral network, and 163 have been updated. So if I, again, if I have a buyer, I might want to find out more information about uh, those new properties or the properties that have been updated. I can see the count uh, relative to my referral network. I know I've got 57 agents in my network and actually 4,800 plus 
listings as a result of my network. Finally, the bottom left-hand side is a public message board. This is a place that uh, if you have a communication you'd like to go broadly to the entire network, um, it might be a listing, a question, um, some information you want to put out and share, uh, this would be the place to do that. Uh, or if you wanted to respond to um, any of the, the messages here, you can do that as well. Now, the most important thing and the first thing you want to do when you enter the system is make sure that your profile, your professional profile, is as complete as possible. The reason being is the more information in your, platform, in your profile, the more often you'll come up in agent searches and the more opportunities you'll have to build and connect uh, with agents around the world. There are two ways to access your profile. You can either do it from this page here where it says Edit Profile. Or on the top right here, you'll see an icon of a person in a green shirt. And just to the right of that is the word profile. This exists on all pages uh, in, the, in the platform. So wherever you are, you can always access your profile if you choose this, this way. So if I click on the profile button, that brings me to the profile page. And this center section here where it says information is where you can enter the information that will be displayed on your profile. So if you speak a language other than English, this would be the place to put that. Any designations you have, uh, affiliations, specialties is also very important. Uh, if, you have, if you specialize in luxury properties or vacation homes or uh, commercial property, I'll put all that information here as that does get searched uh, quite a bit. You'll want to make sure that your photo has been uploaded. You can do that by browsing your computer and uploading it here. You want to make sure that there's, you have an image on your profile that, that people can see and relate to. Any changes you make to this page, you want to click the Save, Save Changes button so that it can be updated in the network. Once you've updated and completed your profile, Now's the time to start building out your global referral network. You can do that by clicking this top middle button, Build My Referral Network, which will take you to an agent search page. Now before we do a search, I wanted to just walk you through sort of left to right the information that you see in the search results. So on the left hand side is the column that will tell you the relationship of that particular agent to your own referral network. So if you see a yellow star, that means that agent is already in your network. A yellow triangle with an exclamation point means you have reached out to connect with that particular agent. They have not yet responded, so your connection uh, request is pending. And finally, if there's two hands shaking, that means that is an agent who's not in your network and is available to network with. All the agent names are hotlinked to their profiles, and we'll look at one of those in a moment. This third column here tells you the level that agent is their membership within Proxio. So these members that come to the top with these orange circles and the word pro in it are our platinum or global agents. As I said, they do come to the top of agent searches. Next are our premium members who have a green sun and then our standard members with a blue star. And as Prudential Arizona agents, you are standard members within the Proxio system. To the right of that will be the agency to which the agent belongs, and you can find out information about that, the agency as well as it's hotlinked. You can see information about where the agent is located. The column with the two people will tell you the number of agents that agent has within their own referral network. And I will give you a little tip, those agents with larger global referral networks do come to the top uh, further up in, in agent searches as well. Under the house is the number of listings that agent has in the system at the moment. Next are the languages they speak. And finally, their specialties. All right, so as you're thinking about building out your business, you can think about there's various different ways to search for agents who might make sense for with for you to connect with. You can search by geography, by language, designations. You can do a text search, or you can search by group. 
So you can see these are all um, a number of the different things that I was talking about that you want to make sure you have completed in your profile so that when searches get done that way um, and, and your profile matches that you do come up in those search results. So I'm going to assume that I am an agent who has a client who's interested in a vacation home uh, in, in France. So I'm going to actually search for some agents um, in France to see if there's some people that I might want to connect with. So I'm going to come here in geography and choose France. There you go. Now I'm, uh, it would be nice if the agent also spoke English, it would just make things a little easier. So I'm going to actually search by English speakers. And my client is looking for a higher-end vacation home, so I'm going to search for agents who have specialty and luxury homes. I'm going to click the green arrow for search, and these are my search results. So as we can see, these are all agents who are in France. They all do speak English, and they all have luxury as part of their specialties. Now, these uh, little ads up here belong to our platinum agents. They are geo-targeted. They show up on agent searches and property searches. So it's because we did a search in France. These are all French uh, platinum or global agents in Proxio. Now, if I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about any one of these agents, I'll simply click on their profile. So we'll take a look at Pierre. This is Pierre's profile. So this is how your pro, you'd like your profile to look uh, when you get searched. Pierre has a, his photo. He's got his information. I know how to contact him. I can see information about him. He's put here in his profile. Uh, I can see his specialties, affiliations, etc. I do see that he is a premium member in Proxio. He's got 17 agents in his own network. I can actually see who the, they are just down here. And there may be people here that I would also like to connect with. Uh, and then he's got 33 listings. Now, if I'm interested in inviting Pierre to connect with me, I simply click this Invite button, which brings me to a pre-completed email asking Pierre to join my professional network. Now, when I send this to Pierre, it will arrive in his email inbox. He does not need to be in Proxio to receive his email, and neither do you. So to receive um, agent connections or referrals or sales leads, you will get those to the email address that we have in the system. In addition, if I choose to send this as is, it will show up in Pierre's inbox in French, because I'm assuming that he's got his system uh, default set to French. So he'll receive it, uh, my, my connection request in French. Now, I can change this if I wish, uh, but if I enter anything here, it becomes freeform text. Our system does not translate freeform text, and this is the reason why. The only way to do that is to do it on the fly with computers, and we can't be, we can't assure you that it's authentically translated with proper uh, context. Um, and there are risks in, in that. So we do not translate freeform text anywhere in the system, but anything that's already uh, been entered or drop down choices uh, will always be translated into 19 different languages. So once I've sent my invitation to Pierre and sent it to others and built up my network, I can communicate very easily with my agent network. You'll see there's six tabs across the top here, the middle one being my agent network. And if I click on that, I get brought to a list of my the agents in my network. Now, if I want to communicate to the, with them, Proxio makes that very simple to do. Let's say I've got a new listing that I'd like the agents in my network to know about. If I want to send it to everybody, I simply click the check box at the top here, which will check everyone in my network. I click send mail, I get brought to an email client, I can write some information here about my listing, I can attach listing detail information, I can attach photos, whatever I might want, and I send it and it goes out to everybody in my network. Now, let's assume I, I have a, a friend who has 
a client who's interested in a vacation home in Brazil. I happen to know that I do have an agent in my network, Moises, who is in Brazil. So I'm going to send him the referral. So I, I click Moises. I click send referral. Again, I'm back to the email client. I will give Moises whatever information I have about the client, including their name, whether they're a buyer or a seller, in this case a buyer. And I send it to him, and he receives the referral. In the same way, in the same vein, um, you can expect to, as you build your network, to receive referrals coming back the other way. Okay. Don't see any questions, so we'll continue. So we've completed our profile now, and we'll start to build out a referral network. Now let's take a look at how you would search for properties for a client, as well as how your properties would be searched within the database. So the top left button here, search for properties, will take us to a property search page where we can do our search. Now, uh, in terms of search results, uh, whether it's agent searches or property searches, the system will only return you up to 250 results, and that's for security reasons. So you do want to narrow your search. Now, we help you know sort of where you're at, because we do have a res live results, dynamics uh, results button down here, or number. So you can see I've got this, the default right now is set to the U.S. There's over a million uh, properties in the U.S., uh, so I'm going to have to do, uh, tighten up my search here a little bit. So let's say I'm an agent, uh, this time an agent from France, and I've got a client who's interested in uh, a second home in the U.S. They're actually interested in Arizona, in the uh, Maricopa Gilbert area. Now, as you see, as I did that, my search results are now down to 303. Um, I can further refine my search by choosing the type of property. So they're interested in the house, but you can see we have multiple other different uh, kinds of properties. Within a house, they're interested in a detached house, but there's lots of different uh, styles of properties uh, that can be chosen that also help, again, help you bring the results down a little bit further. So now I'm down to 162. Uh, my client is interested in a higher-end property, so I'm going to look at properties uh, sort of priced at a half a million dollars and above. Now, I can also search by a number of bedrooms, um, bathrooms, etc. I'm down to 19, so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and do a search. And see what my search results are. <coughs> so again, I'm just going to sort of walk you left to right so you kind of understand what uh, you're seeing here and then we'll take a little further look into the property details. So starting on the left hand side, the green check mark means this is an active property. We will only return you active properties uh, within search results. The, uh, the next column over will tell you the level of privacy which we've talked about already within the system. These are all public properties. The reference number is hot linked to the property detail. Next, you'll be able to see the number of images in the system, uh, where it's located, the uh, type of property. We've already determined what those are. Uh, the price point, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms. You can find out information about the agency uh, that's listing the property, as well as reach out and connect with the agent and, and or email the listing agent if you want further information. Now, these two properties that are here um, in the green boxes at the top are premium or featured properties. They belong to either our premium or global agents in the system or an agent who has purchased a featured listing for that particular property. Uh, that means they do get set apart a little bit differently, as you can see, and do come to the top of search results. Now, if we'd like to take a little bit closer look at this property, let's say we'll just click on the reference number. And now we can see the property details. So we can see images of the property, as well as uh, summary information, description, features, uh, a property overview, 
as well as information about the listing agent. Now all of this can be translated. We have this drop down menu. We can choose any language to which it's translated. It'll happen instantaneously. So uh, I think I was French. So now it is, uh, the property detail information is all in French with the exception of this freeform text here in the description. This can be entered, and I'll show you in a few moments where, can be entered in a second language so it'll show up with both languages. Uh, but it is not uh, translated because it is freeform text. Now, let's say my, my client is interested in this property, but to be honest, I'd like to share this with them, but I would really prefer to have my contact information on here rather than the listing agent. You can do that, and I'll show you how. It's actually uh, one of the sort of little gems of the system. If we go back to the search results, and we click the checkbox for this property, and then we go to where it says view report. You'll see the default is client report, and that's what we want. We want to give this to our client. We're going to click the green button here to view the report. Takes us back to the property detail information. Okay, but now at the bottom, voila, it actually has my contact information on it. It's presented uh, by myself. Great, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my translation back into French, got the information, my information, and now I can email it or print it out for my client. Okay, now your properties are automatically uh, in Proxio. You do not need to add any properties. We do get a feed from your MLS on a tw uh, every 24 hours. However, there may be times uh, you have a property outside the MLS or you're co-listing a property and it's in the MLS under the name of the, your co-listing agent or uh, there's an agent or broker who's not part of Proxio and has asked you to market their listing. Um, for all those reasons, you may want to add a listing manually. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. Just it really truly takes no more than five minutes. You just simply click add a listing here. We have broken it up into four different tabs. You can see across the top here, the property information, um, items in red must be completed. Wherever possible, we do have drop-down menus to make this just that much easier for you. Descriptions, as you can see, again, all of this drop-down menus to make it as easy as possible for you to select uh, the different types of heat, hot water, and everything else about the, the property. Property features are all check boxes, so that's very simple to do. Building features, we've got a nice long list. Grounds features, nearby attractions, and then you can add text and photo. Now, you can also edit any property in the system, whether it's come into the proper, or system automatically or you've added it manual, manually. On the left-hand side navigation, you see here under My Properties, there's Edit Property. And if I click on that, that will bring me to a list of my properties, each of which will have a little pencil icon which will allow me to edit. So if I click on that, you'll see we're back at those same four tabs now, but these are obviously completed. So I just simply go to the place where the information has changed, um, and let's say I just decided that, or I've learned that the type of heat is actually solar. And I did want to upload a new photo, so I'll go to Add Text and Photo. Now here, in this section here is the freeform text, the property description freeform text. You can see that it can be added in a second language. Uh, here it's been added in Spanish, in which case it'll, it'll show up uh, with both, both in the property detail information. Now if I want to add my photo, I simply click Add Photo. I browse my computer, I choose my photo, I upload it, once it's uploaded I can make it the primary photo if I wish, or, and, or any photo here I can simply remove the photo, I finish. Now I, oops, actually, I meant to show you, you can also very easily reorder images by simply clicking on reorder images. 
So if you decided that, say, uh, you want uh, this photo <coughs> to be second and then this one last, drag and drop, you save it, and you finish. And we're all done. So it's very simple. So we've talked about completing the profile, building a referral network, how you search for properties and add a list, add or edit a listing if need be. Well, I want to show you a couple of the ways that you can market your properties very simply and easily from Proxio. So if we want to, if you wanted to post a property to your Facebook page and or create a, a flyer, this is where you would do in the bottom left hand side, post my listing to the web. If we'll, we'll do the Facebook posting first. Uh, so here on the left hand side under internet, we'll choose Facebook, click the green next box. You're going to get your property list again. You can only publish one property, uh, post one property to your Facebook timeline at a time. I've only got one, so that makes my choice very simple. I'll click next. I'm going to get a confirmation that I'm actually about to publish to Facebook. I click go. You do need to log into Facebook, which I'll do now. Oops. And here's my post. So I can say whatever I want. Um, and when I share it, this will show up on my timeline. And as I said, the link when is clicked by a visitor or a friend, um, it will open up the property listing detail and that uh, will have the same translate drop down box so it can be translated to any of the 19 different languages. So now I have the opportunity to share my listing even more broadly uh, by using my social media and Facebook page. Okay. Now if I want to create a flyer, you'll see here on that same page we've got eight different templates. By mousing over them you can see the templates in more detail. You simply choose the one you like, you click next, Again, you'll choose the property you'd like to put in the flyer. Click Next, and voila, you've got a beautiful property flyer. This can be translated into whichever language you choose. Let's say I had a Japanese buyer for it. Um, it's now translated to Japanese. I can save it as a PDF to email the buyer, or I can print it out. So very simple, very easy ways for you to market your property from Proxio. Now, I've gone over quite a few things today, and I did want to let you know you do actually have access to help within the product itself. Uh, this center button here, the View Getting Started Guide, is actually a mini site with lots of great help. So please you know, feel free to use this if you kind of get stuck or forget some of the things we talked about today. We've got a welcome video. We've got a user guide and FAQs. Uh, we've broken out a lot of the things into just very simple slide sets. So if you just want to remember how, to, how do I complete my profile or how do I build my network, that's all here. We've got, if you're interested, a complete slide set that covers uh, everything and more that we talked about today. We do have a recorded webinar as well as our contact information. We are on the West Coast and we do answer the phones Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, or you can email us uh, anytime at support at proxio.com. In addition to help resources, we have some marketing uh, tools for you. Uh, we get asked probably most often for listing uh, tools, for listing presentations. We do have a listing tool available here in various different file formats. Something that you can include in your listing presentation to prospective client, letting them know what you bring to the table and what you can do for them as a member of Proxio and how you can really help them market, you can really market their property globally. We've got some news information that can be included in marketing. Uh, we've got tips on dealing with international multi multicultural clients as well as some really good tips on social media, particularly if you're new to it. We've got logos, Proxio Pro member logos that can be used on a website or in print materials, um, and again, our contact information. 
So feel free to uh, make use of this if you're in the product and you kind of get stuck. So those are the, the key things uh, for using Proxio. Now I'd like to just show you what the Global Consumer Website Pro World Properties looks like. So as I said, your properties will automatically be syndicated to World Properties. This is the, the home page. Uh, properties that are featured in Proxio Pro are rotated here on the home page, and our platinum agents are, are also rotated here to the front page as well. The search is very simple, and I'm just going to just do the same search we did uh, in Proxio, so you can see how that works here in World Properties. Oh, there we go. All right, I'll click go. Now you can see uh, those properties that are featured in, in uh, Proxio are also featured here on World Properties and do come to the top. I think this is the property we were looking at. Yep, here's the property detail. Here's what it looks like in World Properties. The great thing uh, about World Properties is there's a contact form here. So this is a way for you to capture leads. Uh, this can all be translated. Uh, the whole entire platform is translated. So this is how it would look like in Spanish if somebody was uh, spoke Spanish and was navigating the platform that way. In addition to properties, your profile is also available for searching here on World Properties. We'll just do an agent search. We'll just do, again, the same search we did uh, before. I believe Pierre is on the second page. Yep, there's Pierre. So this is how your profile will look on World Properties. Again, there's a place for you to get contacts. So again, uh, to grab leads from this consumer portal as well. All right, we're going to just return to our presentation for a few more minutes. We get asked uh, a lot, does Proxio Pro work? Uh, the answer is yes. We hear all the time from agents uh, who have wonderful success stories to share with us. Uh, I've got two here for you. One, uh, Martha, she's an agent down in Florida, and last summer she closed a $19 million commercial development project sale uh, through her global network. She found um, an agent through her global network, and they had a buyer. She was able to close that sale, as I said, last summer. So she's a huge fan of Proxio. Jerry is a Canadian agent. He finds that he gets leads all the time from all over the world through his referral network. Uh, recently, he had um, he got a referral to somebody in Canada from one of his uh, connections in India, and that transaction fee enabled him to pay for actually the highest level of uh, membership in Proxio. So he considers Proxio a very cost-effective marketing tool. I have t I've mentioned it a couple times, but uh, bears repeating one more time. When you first get started in Proxio, uh, I want you to remember two things. I want you to build your profile up. Uh, make sure your profile is as complete as possible so you come up in as many agent searches as possible. You want to look like the agent on the right. Number two, start to reach out and create connections and build your network. So as you saw, there's a number of ways for you to build your network uh, the way that's best for your business. You can search through languages, specialties, geographies uh, to find agents that who may be, helped, be able to help you in your business. And once you've, you've built out your business, you can start communicating with them and letting them know, um, sharing information back and forth. Now, as a Prudential Arizona agent, you do have a free standard agent package as part of your membership to Proxio. That gives you the access to the global network of over 600,000 agents. You can build your, your valuable referral network. 
It allows your properties to be syndicated to international consumer sites like World Properties. And your listings are interest instantly and accurately translated into 19 different languages so that people all over the world um, have access to that information. Now we do have three other levels of service uh, that are paid. We have our social agent package, which in addition to uh, your standard package uh, features also has a new Facebook app we call Social Search, which allows you to engage clients to promote your IDX properties through social media. And I'll actually show you that app in, in a few minutes. It's a, it's a great product. Uh, this package is available at $199 a year or $19.99 a month. Uh, it does have a $99 setup fee. Our next level package is our premium agent package which will give you the ability to be featured in agent searches. You'll come up higher in agent searches. You get up to five listings to be made featured. You'll get our Facebook app social search as well as a multilingual IDX property search which is for your personal website to capture leads. This package is $349 a year or $34.99 a month plus the setup fee. And finally we have our global agent package which puts you to the top of agent searches, gives you the personal geo-targeted banner ad, uh, rotates you the front page of world properties. It gives you up to 10 listings to be made featured. Our social search Facebook app, the widget for your personal website, as well as syndication of those 10 properties to 20 top international portals around the world. This package is $749 a year or $74.99 a month plus the setup fee. So I thought what I'll do, since we have a few more moments here, is actually just give you a sense of what our Facebook app looks like as well as our, uh, as well as the, the search widget for a personal website. So this is a, a real estate agent's Facebook page. So the application can only be placed on a business page. Those are Facebook's rules. It cannot be put on your personal profile. This is the icon for the social search, property search, and that can be customized as you wish. As you can see, it shows up front and center. So if a visitor comes to your page and clicks on that, they'll be brought to a very simple property search. This is, again, it says we, you don't have to enter um, any information here. The app will automatically pull all your information from the Proxio database, so all your properties, uh, your networks listed, your networks properties, as well as the full IDX will be pulled in here automatically. Now, the app is actually fully translated currently into four different languages: uh, English plus Spanish, Portuguese, and French. And we're working on others. So what that means is this, once again, we're giving you a way to truly be the global agent you are and, and have your social media be able to interact with people um, in the language they choose. So if a visitor comes to your page with their browser set to say Spanish, when they interact with your, uh, the f your social search app, they'll be able to see everything in Spanish. The entire application, as you can see, is in Spanish. The other thing to note is your contact information is at the top as well as the bottom of every page in the, in the app so that you always have a place for people to contact you and a way to, to get sales leads. We'll just do a quick property search. Uh, this is very simple search. Uh, do the search drop-down boxes. Here are my search results. As you can see, the visitor has another as a way to search again if they wish. If they're interested in one of these properties, they simply click on the Learn More button, which will take them to the property details. You can see there's property details here, uh, the images, a map, property remarks, etc. Now, if they're interested in getting more information about this property and they request more information, they fill out a, a form. This contact form goes to you, so yet one more way for you, one more place for you to uh, gather leads. 
And because we're talking about social media here, it's all about sharing. So we've enabled your visitors to start to have conversations and talk to the people they care about, about the, the, your properties. So I can like this property so it shows up in the news feeds of my friends. I can email it to somebody um, with a, a message. It arrives in my friend's email in, inbox with a link that comes back to your Facebook page and the property information. I can share it so it shows up in my timeline. I can tweet it or pin it. Now, another way that we enable you to keep people on your page is visitors to your page can uh, save properties they're interested in. So let's say um, I did my search and these are all saved. <laughs> and I want to save this property. I simply click Saved. I come back, when I come back to your page, I just go directly to Saved Properties, where I can see all the properties that I was been interested in and have saved previously. This way I don't have to do any new searches. Now, the other really, really cool thing uh, that the app allows your visitors to do is actually to compare up to three properties at a time. So if I wanted to compare, say, this property with this one uh, and this one here, you can see now there's, those icons are up here, the three of them. I click compare, and now I can see the properties side by side all the information, and I can always get more information if I want, but this is a really great way for me to kind of look at these and compare the properties. So now that I've sort of narrowed my choice down, I really want to engage with the people I care about, my, my, my best friend, uh, my, my parents, my husband. I'm going to, I'd like to send this information to them. So I'm going to click send. I'm going to write them a message and send it off. Now when it arrives in their inbox, they'll have a link again back to your Facebook page and they'll, oh, the page will give them a poll, a place where they can actually vote on the property they like the best and they can leave me comments. So my husband can tell me, hey, I really love that Chatham Bay property because I just, I think that's the coolest uh, pool in the world. Uh, those comments are, are private between your visitor and their friends. It does not show up on your Facebook page broadly, but what you've done is you've, you've given your visitors an opportunity to start, start and continue a conversation with your properties at the center of that conversation and all points and all leads coming back to you and your page. So as many of you know, uh, Facebook, uh, on average, the average person has over 130 friends. So by using this application, you can, in, you can really start to virally expose not only your, your, your brand, but also your properties to the friends and family of your visitors and really start to exponentially uh, reach out and expose them uh, through social media. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was our search widget for your personal website. So this is uh, Susanna's personal website. Down here on the right hand side is the search widget. I can do the search in whichever one of these languages I choose. So if I speak Spanish, I simply click on the Spanish flag and now the entire search as you can see is in Spanish. I'm going to have to go back to English. <laughs> Someone can search your listings or they can search all listings which would include not only your, your networks listings but also the IDX listings. We'll just do a quick search on Alaska. So here's my search results. Um, if I want to learn more about this particular property, I simply click the learn more button which will take me to the property details. So I can see the pictures for the property. I can see the property description. As you can see at the bottom, presented by this information, it's, this property is presented by Susanna. Uh, given that she's in Florida, it's unlikely this is her property. Uh, but regardless, she will get the contact or the lead. So if I request more information, I get a lead form uh, with lots of great information. I fill this out and this goes to Susanna. 
the other great thing we have added this brand new to this uh, property widget now we've added again the opportunity for your visitors to your site to start sharing and having conversations about your properties uh, again with everything coming back to you so a visitor can tweet this like it pin it email it or print it out all of that will happen whichever language they've chosen so again if I speak Spanish everything is now in Spanish including the information about the property uh, when I email it or pin it or like it it will also be in Spanish All right. so we are to the end of the webinar we've spent this last hour really talking and exploring uh, the global opportunity that exists out there and hopefully you've seen that as you open your doors to the world you truly can open your doors to more business and Proxio is here to help you do that we'll help you connect to an international network of real estate professionals promote your listings into 19 languages to a global audience and sell more to buyers around the world I truly appreciate you spending this time with me. I know your time is very valuable. I hope you have um, learned some things and, and discovered ways that Proxio can help you in your business. If you have any questions, uh, we are always here. We do want to hear from you. Your success is truly our success. Uh, so feel free to contact us at any time, either via phone at 650-515-3433 or via email at support at proxio.com. So as I said before, I will leave the webinar open to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, but again, I did want to thank you very much for attending the webinar.